In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you the three secrets how to escape any man that pins you against the wall. It can be a tall man. It can be a short man. It can be a hairy man. It can even be a bald man. It can even be Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And make sure you watch all the way to the end because I have a special bonus for you teaching you how to escape any man if you know these five moves. Number one is single choke against the wall and it looks like this. The common mistake that women make when they're being pinned against a wall by a single choke is they panic. They have the hand around your throat, they're squeezing the deer lap at you, you're taking your fingers, you're trying to grab that grip, and you're panicking, and you don't know what to do. I'm gonna show you how to fix that problem and break it down into three easy steps. Number one, when the attacker puts their hand around your throat, you wanna use the same hand on the same side that they're attacking and firmly press it against your throat. I know you're saying press against my throat, but you're actually trapping the hand so they can't pull it off. Because remember, the attacker's attacking you and they don't expect you to fight back. So now you're gonna flip the attack back to them. Secure the hand and you strike with your free hand right to the face because the face hurts everybody. Here comes the strike, bam! Number two, you're gonna take the elbow on the same side that you grab, reach over and bite down. Now remember, biting down holds the hand super tight so I can't escape because again, we're putting the attack on them. She's gonna take her free hand, put it on the wall, and she's gonna spin toward the wall, forcing me to kiss the wall and lock my arm. She's gonna continue to spin and smash my head like a grape against the wall with an elbow smash. Ah! Number three, she's gonna grab my hair, smash my head two more times, and then she's gonna set up the choke and put me to sleep. Here comes the hand, comes around, grabs my hair, makes sure you get a good firm grip. Remember, no pad grips. As you can see, her feet, the pack grip, I can slip out. See that? If she grabs my hair, ah, that's a good grip. Now she's gonna smash my head two times in the wall and set up the choke. Hit smash, one, two. Hand comes around, make sure you get a good elbow under the chin. That secures that artery to be close. You don't want the herky-jerky right here. Get that arm all the way around, set up the choke. I already start to feel it, woo. Okay, when you set up this choke, you're gonna take this hand, Put it on the bicep of the opposite hand. Show them that muscle. Ching! You're gonna put it right on the muscle. Hand goes behind the head. Tuck your chin, because when you tuck your chin, that's gonna stop them from striking or poking you in the eye. Okay, so the elbow goes all the way around, on the bicep. Let's be quick. Hand behind the head, tuck the chin, and go. Now, let's speed it up as you follow along. One, secure the hand and strike the face. Ah. Two, Fight over with the elbow, stay close to the wall, and force me into the wall with an elbow smash. Ah. Three, secure the head with two hands, double head smash, ah. Ah. and set up the choke. Here's what it looks like again at full speed. Ah. 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 Number two is double choke against the wall, and it looks like this. Ah. A common mistake that women make when they try to escape a double choke against the wall is they take their fingers and they try to pry the fingers off to breathe. It doesn't work. And then they panic and then they don't know what to do. I'm gonna show you how to fix that problem and break it down in three easy steps. One, you're gonna secure the grip and strike them in the face. She grabs and strikes the face. Now if you notice, she brought her hand up the middle, not around. Now, I know you want to generate more power, and you do what's called a haymaker. You bring your hand back to the backyard, but it's actually working against yourself, and we don't want that to happen. So we want something short, quick, and easy. So she secures the grip, so I can't pull it off, and she strikes between the arms. Oh, right in the face. Why the face? Because the face hurts everybody. Two, you're going to dip your head under and secure the grip. There's one grip here and one grip here. So the close hand, grabs the wrist, and the forehand grabs the shoulder. Now remember, you're gonna be forcing your opponent into the wall, maximize your power by turning your hips and holding onto the grip firmly. And then you turn and you elbow smash your head like a grip and smash it against the wall. Now remember, when you do that elbow, palm down. Here we go. Ah. 
Number three, you're gonna grab the hair, get a nice firm grip. Now remember, you're gonna rip it back and chop them in the throat. But first, remember, if they don't have any hair, reach on over for that bowling ball grip. Oh yeah, and the eyeballs. Okay, you grab the hair, she's gonna rip it back, and she's gonna chop me right in the throat and finish me off. Ah! Now, let's speed it up as you follow along. One, secure the grip and strike them in the face. Ah! <laughs> Two, Dip your hand there, secure the grip, and elbow smash. Ah! <laughs> oh, three, you're gonna grab the hair and finish with a chop. Ah! Here is what it looks like again, except at full speed. Ah! 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 Number three is double grab from behind, and it looks like this. A common mistake that women make when they defend themselves from double grab from behind is they panic, they hesitate, and what happens? They end up getting their face smashed against the wall. It could be even a car door, and what happens? You mess up your good looks. I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem and break it down in three easy steps. One, as the attacker is pushing you to the wall, you're gonna raise your hand and secure the grip. As I start to push her to the wall, she picks a hand, it goes up in the sky, she's gonna turn all the way around and secure the grip firm, nice and tight. Now remember, make sure they can't get out, bring your guard all the way up to your chest and hold that nice and snug. You're gonna take your back hand, firmly grab the shoulder, again, wad the fabric up in the hand, remember we talked about cuffing, you don't wanna do that, and forces me into the wall. All right, number two, you're gonna fall along with that elbow, smashing their face. Now to maximize your power on your elbow, remember, have your palm down. Don't turn your palm up. You want the blade facing down, so the blade smashes the head. Now as you can see her bottom foot, she's pivoting. Again, remember the power comes from your hips. So the more you snap your hips, the more power you're gonna maximize. So let's go ahead and smash that head like a grape. Wow, right to the face. Three, you're gonna grab the hair, you're gonna rip it back and pull your opponent to the ground and finish with a stop. Let's break that down. She rips me back. And now she's gonna finish off with a stomp while she pulls my arm out of the socket to maximize her power. Ah! Now let's speed it up as you follow along. One, secure the grip while the aggressor's pushing you into the wall. <laughs> Two, smash your head like a grape against the wall. Ah! Three, you're gonna grab the hair, rip them to the ground, and finish off with a stomp on the head. And here's what it looks like again at full speed. Yeah! Here's the secret bonus I promised you. Click the video right over there and learn the step-by-step -step secrets on how to escape any man with just these five moves.